So, hi, this is Bob, and I'm here in my humble studio, Rock Science, and I'm here in another of my series of So You Want to Be a Sonar Guy. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, one of what I think is the best kept secrets in sonar. It has to do with the MIDI editing in sonar. Um, and I sort of uh, get inspired to do this one uh, because uh, at least two or three times a month, somebody on our user forum says, uh, uh, hey, how do I edit the velocities on a bunch of MIDI notes all at the same time? I'm really sick of right-clicking on every single one and doing that. And uh, immediately to my mind comes two really easy ways to do that. And uh, so I'm going to show you that right now. Cool. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is some very simple velocity editing on a very simple drum track. Uh, this drum track just has kick and snare, and it sounds like this. Yeah, so you can see there's some velocity variations here on these hits, and, uh, you know, that's good and bad. Um, there's a little bit more of a range than I'd like on a couple of these things, like this hit on the kick is kind of quiet. Might want to bring that up, and so forth. So the first way you can do it is to just uh, use the tool, uh, the draw tool, get over the top of the note, turns into the velocity editor, and you can just drag that up and down. And you even get to hear it work. Um, so that's one way. Um, do the same thing on the snare. Okay, so that's cool. Um, but you can also do um, multi-select with this too. So I could select a bunch of these notes and then go over the top of one of them. And you would see they would all get the same amount added or subtracted from them. That's fine. Okay, so that was one way to do it with the mouse tool. Another way to do it, uh, some people prefer to do velocity editing uh, numerically. So they'd rather be able to just type in a number or see it precisely. Um, so you've always been able to do this in Sonar. You can right click on a note and you get its properties, and one of the properties is its velocity. So you can, you can type, you can use the spinner, you can do anything you want, and then click OK to keep the change. Um, I'm not a big fan of that usually because it's modal. You have to decide what you want to do and then click OK, and, and it's just not very fast. 